I'm on this crazy flight, I'm hanging out in the bathroom, check me out. The bathroom stays, just hiding, camping out. This flight is well over 12 hours long. It's like, it's stupid long. And I'm about done with it. And I got like eight more hours to go and I don't know what to do with myself. I'm done flying now. All right, so I made it. I'm in Phuket. I had the longest flight of my life going from JFK to Seoul, South Korea. But I'm here and I'm actually like super early. My reservation for Tiger Muay Thai doesn't start until tomorrow. So I'm gonna go find a little place to crash for the evening. This place here. They sold me a taxi, but don't have any taxis ready. And it's so hot here, and like I'm in sweatpants. Oh, uh, there's, there's the line. I think I'm just gonna get a refund. All right, I'm still at the airport, but crisis averted. We linked up with this other cab company. They have cabs in stock. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you, man. This is the man right here. Uh, awesome. All right, so I'm here at the bonus bungalow, getting checked in. Um, we got the little poochies over here. Who you go, boy? Who you go, boys? I'm on them. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I'm at the bonus bungalow. That's where I'm gonna rest my head for the evening. Crashing here it was $12 American. You can't pass that up for a place to lay your head. You walk in, it's got this little nice key. Thing here check this out so if you want power you got to put that in there otherwise no power for you there's me Woo. wow okay so I guess there's a step there yep there's definitely a step there and there's water on the floor why is there water on the floor well the shower is just out there like that toilet shower sink I don't even know how to use this thing like, what does this even mean? So one thing that I kind of find interesting is this like spray nozzle that you'll see at like kitchen sinks to like spray the dishes down. Look at this. I think it's kind of cool. I don't know if that's, damn it, that fucking step is killing me. I don't know if um, that's like their, their version of a bidet, but it's kind of cool. Another fun fact. So this Joby Gorilla Pod, <laughs> TSA at Damn it, that step. TSA at Norfolk International. Thought it was a dildo. I'm gonna find out how to use the shower, get cleaned up, charge some of my devices, and maybe get some freaking sleep. Shine, rise and shine. Time to check out of the old bungalow. Say bye, room. Okay, so essentially, here's what I'll be doing. I'll be checking into Tiger Muay Thai today, maybe even getting in a training session. I don't even know what to expect. But I do know I will be fighting at the end of all of this. I'm definitely trying to do a, a, a pro fight. It'll be my very first ever. And we will see what it's like. You're gonna to get to come with me and experience the ups, experience the downs, the trials, the tribulations. Hello, where do I check in? Ooh. All right, so I just checked into my room and it's pretty nice, I think. This is the tour. So you go in, you walk in, you got your little closet area, your little fridge. That's the view. Alright. So I just got checked into the room. Put my stuff down. I have no time because the class starts in like 30 minutes. See you later. I'm actually going to be staying a little bit off site. It's called the leisure place. Getting it in in this heat is going to be interesting also. 
because it is so freaking hot out here. Or humid, I should say. It's humid out here. All right, I'm back at Tiger Boy Thai. I'm gonna drop into my first session and then uh, figure out what I'm gonna do for food. I was uh, under the assumption I was getting a meal plan here. It's uh, Saturday, so the general manager will be back until Monday. So I'm gonna have to wait until then. This place is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm already liking this place. met this guy Alex from Holland he's uh, been out here for a week already and and what do you what do you make of it what do you make of Tiger Muay Thai it's it's hard it's tough but it's really nice the, the guys are training hard uh, there are several classes you can join the beginners class uh, intermediate class advanced class and the fighters class they put in a lot of effort to break you down mentally physically and it's up to you if you let it let them do that also a lot of uh, strength and conditioning calisthenics uh, sometimes outside jogging running so it's the, the it's complete and it's, it's it's cool it's really tough but it's cool you got a fight coming up no 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 i'm officially a craft maga instructor i don't know oh, if, if, yeah if the you know israeli Krav martial arts yeah yeah yeah, yeah, Krav yeah. Maga. okay yeah yeah so uh, we just uh, i'm also with uh, with that guy over there okay we came uh, with with four guys to just improve our Get your skills up. Our fighting, uh, okay. our fighting skills. So I that's dig it. Uh, that's why we're here. I dig it, man. Cool. Well, there you go, Alex. Look for him. He'll be out in Holland doing his thing, teaching Krav Maga. Thanks, awesome, dude. Awesome. <laughs>